Hey Interwebs, it's Adam Dutcher here again uh, with another real-time review. Uh, today we're going to talk about something that most of us can relate to. Uh, most of us can relate to not being able to use your cell phone uh, inside your home, uh, sometimes inside your place of business as well. Uh, and so one of the things we're going to be talking about today is um, what you can do in order to try to uh, better the reception that you have in your home. A lot of us have the same problem. We have a really good cell phone reception when we're outside of our home, uh, but one of the things that we all have in common is that cell phone reception inside your home is not all that great. Uh, so what we're gonna be talking about today uh, is actually a product that can help you to increase the cellular reception inside your home. Uh, a lot of people actually get upset with the carriers when they don't have really good reception inside their home or inside their place of business. Uh, and really there's not a whole lot that the carriers can do in order to be able to improve the cell phone reception inside your house. There are just physical limitations to radio frequencies. It's very difficult for radio frequencies to get through concrete, through iron, uh, even the tint on windows can reflect radio frequencies from getting inside of a building or inside your home. Um, you know, a lot of people have the uh, the, the weatherproof windows that uh, that help keep a hot air inside the house. Uh, that's also really good at keeping radio frequencies outside of the house. We're going to be taking a, a look at. We're going to be doing a real time review of the Fusion 5S from Surecall. and take a look at how it actually performs, uh, what is gonna come in the, the kit that you would buy uh, from, from a reseller for sure call products. Uh, and we're gonna just kind of take a look at uh, what the specifications are on this product as well. So uh, stay tuned. All right, so here we are kind of taking a, a closer look at the Fusion 5S. Uh, this is a uh, 72 dB booster. Uh, has a max gain on the PCS of 72. Once again, this is a booster that covers 2G, 3G, and 4G networks for all the major carriers. The only thing that it does not cover uh, is 4G for Sprint. Uh, it will give you 3G data for Sprint, but it just won't cover WiMAX or uh, Spark. So uh, when we're talking about the booster itself, um, we'll actually go into some of the specifications in just a second, but I wanted to take a second to um, show you what's going to come with the kit. This kit's a little bit different than something like our mobile kit uh, that has everything kind of included in one box. You're going to get a couple of different components that all go together to create one system. So inside the booster box itself, you're going to receive the booster. Uh, it looks just like this. You'll also receive mounting hardware to be able to mount it to the wall. Um, you're also going to receive a power supply and instruction manual. So before we kind of go into uh, the specifics of the booster, let's take a look at what is going to be coming in the box when you order the Fusion 5S. So you're going to get the booster, power supply in its own separate box. You're going to get a 75 foot roll of Surecall's uh, 400 coax cable. It's a 50 ohm cable, uh, ultra low loss, so great quality. It's got N uh, male connectors on the ends. And you're also going to get a length of 30 foot that will help you connect either from your booster to the antenna or from um, the uh, outdoor antenna to the booster. So you'll also have, we have a couple of different options um, for kits. So typically what will come uh, with the kit is an omnidirectional outdoor antenna. Uh, this is a three to four dB gain antenna that you can uh, use the L bracket here to mount to uh, the side of the house. Um, if you need to, we do have J bars and uh, U-bolt mounts that I'll kind of uh, show you in just a second uh, as a possible add-on to uh, increase the uh, ease of installation. This is what I was talking about, um, the J bar and the U-bolt mount here, uh, which helps you to mount that uh, omnidirectional antenna to like the side of the house or um, you know maybe underneath the eaves and stuff like that. Um, so this, these two items, the, both the J-mount and the, uh, the U-bolts are available. Uh, we do have our own line of these uh, pieces of equipment. Also, uh, you can see that there's a, a jumper cable, a little two-foot jumper cable attached to this uh, apparatus. Uh, we don't uh, include a lightning protector uh, with our, uh, our kits, but we do always suggest 
getting a lightning protector just to make sure that you don't void the uh, warranty because of something you can't control like lightning. So uh, make sure you pick one of those up and uh, use that two foot jumper to go from the antenna and then to the lightning protector and then from the lightning protector you'll go into the booster or into the cable that goes to the booster. This outdoor antenna is really good if you have adequate signal outside. Once again, you're not going to want to get too much signal into the booster, otherwise the booster will overpower. Uh, so if you have adequate signal outside, uh, this is basically just going to give that signal a little bit of a kick before it gets into the booster. Uh, and it's also going to receive uh, radio frequencies from all angles instead of just uh, having to point it to one specific tower. So that's one option, uh, typically what will come with the Fusion 5S kit. Uh, also what typically comes with the Fusion 5S kit is our dome indoor antenna. Uh, and this is a, a, a three to four dB gain antenna as well. Uh, it's an antenna that you would actually mount to the ceiling. As you can see, it kind of looks like just an oversized fire detector or smoke detector. So this actually creates uh, a nice, kind of more of a circular hot spot uh, it gives you about, you know, as much as, uh, as a 40 foot radius of signal. Uh, once again, this booster kit uh, handles about 6,000 square feet of coverage. Um, and so this is a great way for you to go ahead and, uh, and get that kind of coverage in one spot. Um, but we do also have alternative uh, outdoor and indoor antennas that are available. And you can kind of mix and match the way you want to to be able to fit your, uh, your situation, which is one of the, the great things about the SureCall products. Uh, this here is called the Yagi antenna. And this is a 9 to 11 dB gain antenna that you actually point toward the tower that you're trying to get the signal from. So this works great for people who have poor signal outside. Um, you know, maybe they're going to have a really long uh, cable run and they need to make sure that they get enough gain into the booster um, so that they don't get too much loss and they have good uh, quality signal coming out from the internal antennas. Uh, but this Yagi basically, like I said, you'll point it toward the tower and uh, wherever this end is pointing toward, that's where you're going to get the most uh, uh, dB gain. So this is an option. Uh, it does come with a mounting bracket that will allow you to put it onto a pole or uh, you know something like that so you can swivel it so you can kind of find out where your best signal is. Uh, so that's an option. For the internal antennas, we also have an option in case you don't want to necessarily drill into your ceiling. Um, if you have multiple stories in your house, uh, this is a panel antenna and it'll give you uh, 9 or 10 dB gain. Uh, and this is more of a linear uh, antenna. So it's, it's going to, instead of creating a nice little circular hotspot, this is going to be a little bit more pointed. It's got a 70 degree uh, radiation pattern. And so it's great for people with multiple stories. Uh, I've seen people put this in the attic and actually point it down through the house. It does come with a mounting bracket for the wall. You can just kind of put it behind uh, either your TV or a picture uh, in case you didn't want to see the antenna and it just basically radiates uh, from side to side, um, kind of more of a, in a horizontal fashion. So those are uh, our two different options for the internal antenna, two different options for the external antenna. So it really gives you the flexibility to be able to uh, customize this uh, system in order to be able to best suit your needs. So, uh, and anytime you have any questions about this, you know, you can either go to the, the SureCall website or you can also uh, uh, call our office, talk to one of the salespeople, and they can help you kind of customize uh, what kind of system would work out best for you and make sure that they, you know, hand you off to one of our uh, resellers that's been uh, working with us for a long time. So, uh, you'll be in good hands. So, let's take a look uh, once again more closely at the, the booster itself. Uh, this is the Fusion 5S. It handles about eight people on the phone at the same time, so it's great for uh, residences, uh, maybe small businesses. Um, you know, it covers 6,000 square feet. It does have uh, all of your network protection standards, security features, uh, automatic gain control. It does have uh, the sleep mode in case it's not detecting any uplink. It will actually shut down that band in order to, to help prevent any kind of bleed over into the network uh, that would disrupt the network. Uh, it does have out-of-bands emissions detection, so you don't have to worry about this uh, messing with public safety bands or anything like that. It does have a really great um, sturdy aluminum alloy outer casing, which helps to dissipate the heat, uh, just which is a, a sure call standard. Also compartmentalized design, keeps all the little components in their own little rooms in here uh, to help reduce heat. 
uh, you know, this thing can handle temperatures anywhere from negative five to about 150 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's definitely a resilient uh, piece of hardware. Uh, the system itself does have a three year manufacturer's warranty. Uh, so it's definitely uh, uh, going to last you a long time. As far as the specifics are concerned, like I said, uh, it is a 72 max gain booster. With the dial attenuators, it does give you the freedom to be able to turn down or even turn off uh, certain bands if you're not going to need them or, uh, or you don't want to uh, use them. Uh, one of the great things about that is, uh, you know, with the dial attenuators is if you don't want to cover 6,000 square feet, you can actually turn down the gain and it'll reduce the size of the hotspot coming out of either the dome antenna uh, or the, uh, the panel antenna. You might not want to uh, boost your neighbor's signal as well as your own. So uh, really easy to, uh, to mount and really easy to set up. Like I had said before, it does have the light indicators, so it's going to go ahead and alert you if something is going wrong with the booster. Uh, once again, yellow and green are okay, red is not. So if you do have red lights, either check the, uh, the user manual or you can always call into the Shirk Hall office and we can help troubleshoot uh, uh, the system to try to get those uh, red lights to go away. But yellow is good, green is good, red is bad. One of the other things about uh, the consumer grade boosters like this is uh, in order to be carrier compliance, which means in, in order for uh, you to go ahead and use this booster with the permission of your carrier, all you have to do is register the booster online. So you go to your carrier's website, uh, if you type into the search bar, you know, signal booster registration uh, for, for the major carriers, Sprint, AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, uh, all you have to do is type that into the search box and it comes up with a separate page that you'll go to to register the booster. It doesn't take you a whole lot of time. All you need to do is have your information, uh, the information on the booster. It'll ask you for uh, the serial number, which is right here on the side. It'll ask for the address where the booster is being operated, uh, and then you will be carrier compliant and the carrier will approve uh, the use of this booster on their network. So <clears throat> enough of the show and tell, let's go ahead and actually give it a real time review. Let's see how this thing actually performs. All right, so here we are in the Shirk Hall Faraday cage. Uh, if you're not familiar with what a Faraday cage is, it's basically where uh, cell signal goes to die. Uh, so we have the uh, Fusion 5S here. Uh, I've got it all set up. Uh, this cord here is going to go to your outdoor uh, antenna that's either going to be mounted on the roof, uh, maybe mounted on the side of the house, uh, even in the attic if there's uh, some cell phone uh, reception up there. Uh, so that one goes to the outside. This one is going to go to an inter uh, internal dome uh, antenna that we have right above our heads here in the Faraday cage. And so we're going to turn this guy on. And uh, as I had said in my, my uh, uh, previous review video, uh, there are some lights that are going to start to happen. So you notice that the yellow flashing lights, these are the automatic gain control working, trying to figure out you know, uh, how much attenuation to put on the band in order to keep it from overpowering. But you see these two lights over here, the flashing red lights, that means that there's too much power going into the booster. Uh, so this is a very common problem uh, that'll happen sometimes. You know, you've got really great reception outside, uh, but inside inside the house or inside the building uh, is where you don't have very good cell phone reception. Well sometimes that signal that's coming from the outdoor antenna to the indoor antenna is just too strong. Uh, so what you'll need is you'll need something like this, like an uh, inline attenuator. Uh, this is a 20 dB inline attenuator that's available uh, from Surecall as well. Uh, and this is going to actually go in line from the uh, outdoor antenna cord or cable to the booster. So I'll go ahead and uh, set this up. Uh, and kind of show you that process. So let's go ahead and turn this booster off and see if we can't get those lights to stop flashing. All right, so we're going to put the inline attenuator right here, attach it to the end male side of the cable, and then there's also an end male side here which is going to go into the actual booster. Flip that booster on one more time, power on. It's going to go through its power on cycle. And now we have clear lights over here, no lights going on. And we have automatic gain control working for both the AWS and the PCS bands. 
and that's totally fine. Automatic gain control is a regular part of um, you know your uh, your booster's function. Uh, yellow flashing lights are not bad. Red flashing lights, you can do something about that, and you need to do something like that about that. Otherwise, it'll overpower the booster. Uh, so let's actually take a look. Uh, at what's going to happen uh, with my cell phone uh, when I turn this booster off and then we're going to go ahead and turn it back on and we're going to see uh, if there's actually an increase so we can see if this uh, if this thing actually works. Alright, so as you can see I've got uh, my phone here. Uh, I have AT&T for service and inside the Faraday cage uh, I have no service. Uh, there's no uh, radio frequency that's bleeding in from the outside so we're going to definitely be able to get a chance to see uh, how this unit performs uh, in kind of the, the optimal, um, you know, uh, type of situation. So uh, let's go ahead and turn on the booster. Once again, we did put that 20 dB attenuator on there so that it's not going to go ahead and overpower those, uh, those bands. So let's flip it on and we're going to see what actually happens uh, to the service. There you have it. So You've got five bars plus your LTE uh, almost instantaneously. So I think that that's, uh, that's pretty impressive for uh, a pretty uh, low price booster. Once again, you know, it's going to be able to, regardless of whether you have AT&T or, or Verizon or, or T-Mobile or Sprint, uh, you're going to be able to see an increase in your service uh, with, uh, with this particular booster, both for your, uh, your 3G networks for voice and data, but also for your 4G LTE. Let's turn it off. and the cell phone signal starts to die. So these things definitely do what they're supposed to do and what they say they do. Um, so make sure you pick one up. So there you have it. Go ahead and uh, feel free to check out uh, www.surecall.com to kind of find out some more information about this Fusion 5S. Um, you can also see all the different resellers uh, and distributors that go ahead and uh, pr uh, provide Surecall products. Um, but also the MSRP for this uh, kit, which it, it includes the antennas, cables, the booster, power supply, everything kind of together. Uh, the MSRP on that is about uh, $1,060, but most resellers you're going to be able to find it for about $850. So uh, you spend about $850, you get a system into your house uh, that can increase your cellular reception uh, inside your house so you don't have to go outside to make a phone call. Uh, and so that you can actually make that phone call using the, uh, the service that you pay for every single month without having to inconvenience yourself uh, by having to go outside. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for more real-time reviews of, uh, of signal boosters and, and uh, more discussions like this. Uh, make sure that you like the video uh, and leave a comment if you uh, want to know any more information. Uh, and you can always check us out online uh, at surecall.com. Thanks.